Taylor Swift wasted no time showing Travis Kelsey the sights around Sydney. It seems as though the 14-time Grammy winner loved her visit to the zoo so much on Wednesday that she couldn't help but take her bow to see the animals himself. The lovebirds were seen holding hands as they got up close and personal with Australian wildlife during a private tour of the park, according to video footage obtained by Australia's Channel 9 News. The Kansas City Chiefs tight end, 34, whose trip follows hot on. The heels of his third Super Bowl win, was spotted wrapping his arms around Swift, 34, as they walked around the zoo they even hand-fed some of the kangaroos and met koalas during their wholesome day out. Swift and Kelsey were accompanied by the singer's dancers, the outlet added, the anti-hero hitmaker cut a casual figure for the sunny day out rocking a denim miniskirt and white sneakers. Swift slicked her blonde hair black into a messy bun that allowed her signature bangs to frame her face, and topped off her low-key look with a pair of blacked-out shades, Kelsey, for his part, opted for a navy t-shirt, patterned red shorts and white sneakers that he accessorized with a white hat and a chain necklace, the duo's romantic day out marked Swift's second time at Sydney Zoo in just two days having visited it the day before with her entourage. The singer has ventured out a few times since arriving in Sydney following her three-night stint of performances in Melbourne. Swift visited Accor Stadium on Wednesday to conduct a sound check before visiting the zoo with members of her era's tour crew later in the day. The zoo is home to more than 4,000 animals, including koalas, kangaroos and wallabies. Earlier this week, Kelsey hopped on a private jet to make it in time for Swift's first era's tour show in Sydney, she jetted into Sydney after concluding three record-breaking performances at the Melbourne Cricket Ground last week. Swift has four shows scheduled in Sydney, with the first taking place on February 23 and the final hurrah on February 26.